Hello and welcome to the first video of the Visionary AI Assist tutorial series. With the Visionary AI Assist, SIG combines 3D stereo camera technology and artificial intelligence to a unique solution. This makes it possible to monitor three-dimensional space for the presence of persons and objects. In this video, we will have a first look and discover the essential features. To follow along, get yourself a Visionary AI Assist camera a mounting bracket, a power supply, and an ethernet cable. Your local SIG sales representative is happy to support you. The Visionary AI Assist was developed for harsh outdoor environments. There, additional accessories like a protection hood can improve the performance further. You can find all available accessories on SIG.com. My Visionary AI Assist is now mounted in the bracket and connected using a suitable power supply and the Ethernet connection to my PC. As we want to cover the entire working area in front of the camera, the device is tilted slightly downwards. On the home view, I get a summarized overview of all the relevant device information, including a live image and the I.O. status. Log in as service with a default password to configure the device. As a first step, let's get used to the visualization options of the 3D viewer. There are multiple options to display the 3D point cloud. The detection status view, where the points are highlighted that lead to a detection in an evaluation field. The distance view, where the points with the same distance are indicated in the same color. The color view, to overlay the 3D points with their real color. Navigating in the 3D view is simple. Rotate the point cloud by holding the left mouse button while moving the cursor around. To move the point cloud, click and hold the right mouse button. Zooming in and out can be done by rotating the mouse wheel or using the scroll gesture on the touchpad. If you want to see the full 3D image again, simply select the initial view in the top left. The use of the device perspective also enables the display of a 2D image. I continue using the 3D view which I think is the most versatile visualization option. If needed, you can further optimize the visualization by for example adjusting the point size to your needs. Just try it out. For the configuration, start with the mounting position of the device. There are multiple options to do the rough and fine alignment of the height settings and the tilt angle. These allow the visionary AI assist to correctly map the measured 3D distances to their position in the real world. Once the point cloud matches the grid, we are good to go. Second is the configuration of the image and filter settings. The wide field of view covers a broad area and reaches up to 60 meters. The 90 degrees narrow field of view is more precise beyond 10 meters and reaches up to 37 meters. I use the wide default setting with 130 degrees. If needed, you can further optimize your applications with features like the ground filter. As soon as these settings are done, I can start to create an evaluation field. Switch to the top view and use the pen tool to easily set up the corner points of an evaluation field. With the help of the other tools, I can further adjust it, for example, in terms of height. Creating another field or another group is just as easy. Configure the evaluation to detect only persons or all kind of objects above a specified size. I choose persons for now. And just like that, I have configured my first visionary AI assist evaluation field. Let's test if it works as expected. If a person enters the evaluation field, the viewer shows a detection. Another object does not trigger a detection. As soon as I switch to all objects, my test object also triggers the detection. The combination of these different evaluation options makes it possible to solve a wide range of intelligent applications. Finally, the inputs and outputs page allows to easily link these detection results to different output interfaces like digital IOs or the CAN interface. On the external monitor page, you can activate and configure the video stream for a separate monitor. The Save Permanently button saves your configuration to your device. Once this is done, 
The visionary AI assist automatically starts with this configuration after each boot up and is ready for action. To see how it works, follow me outdoors where we mount and configure the visionary AI assist on a wheel loader. See you there.